Tia at Truck Lab with you today. We want to talk about LS engines and lifter failure real quick and why I don't think they fail. Um, and I'll show you why. I was under the impression up until just recently that it only affected the engines with active fuel management or AFM where they shut down for the cylinders utilizing these ports in the block casting to bleed off the pressure to those lifters. Um, this particular engine is a LY2 and a 2008 Silverado. It does not have AFM on it. it, happens to belong to my wife. We know the maintenance history on this truck going all the way back to 25,000 miles, currently sitting at 164,000 and some change. It has always had meticulous maintenance, good quality fluids, good quality filters, um, you know, Schaefer's oil most of its life, AMS oil part of its life. Um, always changed prior to the maintenance reminder even saying that it was actually due uh, just because the wife would bug me when it starts to get down there around 20%. Anyway, so not lack of maintenance, not AFM related. Another thing that we came across, I will show you the camshaft out of a 6.2 liter that had AFM um, out of a Yukon that we did. It had a lifter failure. Looks very typical uh, of the lifter failures you see in these. It just ruins one area of the roller. Um, this is on one of the AFM lifters. You can tell by the big spring on it. So anyway, the retainer or the guide for these, um, a lot of people think that it has to do with this rotation that happens as they wear and allowing the roller to start skipping or get kind of stuck and not roll across the lobe of the camshaft. This was that camshaft lobe. Um, I believe they said this vehicle was driven for about seven months after the noise started. Um, and it had 220-ish thousand miles on it. Probably had so-so maintenance, you know, generic oil. Probably went over on oil changes on a regular basis. Pretty typical of a um soccer getting you know vehicle so to show you the one out of the 4.8 ly2 non-afm this is a regular lifter it does not have the spring on it and the guide or the retainer has zero rotation in it at all none of them do something interesting I found in this engine as I started to tear it apart. Mind you, it has never had oil pressure problems. Always had good quality oil changed before it was due. Good quality filters. We have eight push rods that look like the one on the left, eight that look like the one on the right. The one on the right looks healthy, nice and shiny. The one on the left has got this brushed look to it. It is wearing into the hardened surface itself and it is wearing on the rocker end. So now we're getting rockers, push rods, lifters, camshaft, etc. Here is the lobe. This truck was driven just long enough to get home after this noise started, about six miles. And my gosh. Then, upon cleaning up the front of the engine, I noticed this. This is the number one camshaft bearing. The bearing material appears to be just separating flaking off of it so and knock that out uh this is the number two one it really doesn't look too bad they have a weird roughness on the non-load side um i believe that's just the factory finish on the bearings so not concerned about that uh but yeah i'm gonna do the number one and number two not going to take the time to pull the engine or tear it down further to do the other three that are in there. Um, they have to be done sequentially. Num the number three bearing is the smallest OD and then slightly bigger on two and four and then slightly bigger again on one and five. Um, so they, the ones in the back have to go out that direction and come in from that direction. And I am not gonna take this truck apart that far. Um, I am tired of fixing this truck the transmission has been replaced three times. I re-geared it to get rid of the ridiculous 342 axle gears in a big four-door four-wheel drive truck uh, with a 4.8 liter anemic gutless gas guzzling V8. 
Um, we went from 342 actual gears to 456 actual gears. The transmission has seemed to have been living a happy life since then. Uh, this vehicle by far out of all of our vehicles gets the most repair work and is the newest by 11 years uh, and has the least mileage by about 70,000 miles. Anyway, lifter failure, LS engines, not lack of maintenance, proven here, not AFM, proven here, not swapping the guides, proven here. What do I think it is? Inferior parts, probably. Inferior design, eh, I'm not a big fan of it. I know a lot of people are. I just don't think they're made for the long haul. Have a good one.